Good day Libra and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy and this is your weekly reading for July 10th to the 16th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe Speak. Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? The lessons need to be learned. Nine of Clubs. Six of Diamonds. Ten of Diamonds. nine of spades so uh, definitely looks like there's gonna be the death of something now don't you know this can it, it can mean the death of a person but usually it means the death of something you know a job a career an idea um, a love interest a relationship you know it can be the death of pretty much anything uh, but this is something that has caused you fear and worry and nightmares and just all around problems. Uh, and when the death comes, it will it will be good in a sense. Like, of course, it's not going to be great because something died and, you know, you're going to grieve over it or whatever. But it also is going to give you peace in some sort of way. Uh, and you're going to be dealing with this probably throughout the whole week. There's probably, you're probably just these emotions you're going to be dealing with, you know, the sad emotions that come with the death of something, but also the, uh, emotion of, um, uh, just feeling free and happy, uh, that the, whatever it is, is over with the turmoil that came from whatever this is that died, uh, is over with now. So yeah, you're going to have some mixed emotions throughout the, the week. Uh, at the beginning of the week, uh, whatever you're struggling with, which very well could be this death, uh, uh, it's not over. It, it's not over yet at the beginning of the week. Uh, and you might be thinking about giving into it, you know, in some sort of way. Uh, we can give into things in all kinds of ways and just give up and not keep fighting. The card says, no, you're strong enough. Don't give up. Uh, the end of the struggle will come soon. So... Uh, you might be been struggling with this for a while. This might be something not related to the death, and it might just be something that you've uh, been struggling with for a while. And the death could actually be the end of this struggle. Uh, it could be the death of this struggle. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you could very well be dealing with the death of a struggle. But that it doesn't mean that, you know, everything is going to be sunshine and fucking rainbows uh, because you still probably whatever died was something that was close to you, you know. So uh, but don't give into the struggle. Don't don't uh, whatever whatever it is, don't give into it because uh, it will end soon. It will come to a death. I'm almost positive. That's what this is, is that the death is whatever the struggle is. Uh, it will end soon. Uh, in the middle of the week, it uh, looks like you might uh, feel confused or misled, but the cards say that you need to recheck your steps because uh, this confused, misled feeling is false. It's, it's either something that somebody's put in your head or it's something that you put in your own head. Uh, but either way, it is false. Uh, there is no actual confusion. There is no actual... Uh, nobody's being misled. You're not being misled. You're not misleading anybody else. So just in the middle of the week, if you feel confused or misled or you feel like you've misled somebody else, just recheck your steps and you'll you'll find that uh, it's not true at all. Sorry about that. Um, at the end of the week, you can make it rain. Uh, but you're going to have to leave your comfort zone. And now because somebody commented at one point in time that they love their comfort zone and they don't want to leave it, I always bring this up. Uh, that's fine. I mean, uh, you know, 
Uh, that's why they call it the comfort zone because you're comfortable in it. Uh, if you don't want to leave your comfort zone, that is fine. Uh, but if you do leave your comfort zone and you go through some unpleasantness, uh, it will lead to success. It could lead to uh, an increase in your finances or just an increase in abundance uh, alone. Uh, but we don't usually grow very much if we just stay in our comfort zone because our comfort zone is something that we've done over and over and over again and that's why we feel comfortable in it and it's not going to change anything because that's why we stay there because there is no change you know we don't have to worry about uh, dealing with anything uh, so if you like your comfort zone and you don't want to leave it that's fine please don't leave a comment I really don't care if you like your comfort zone everybody loves their comfort zone that's just how it is uh, but if you want to have some success and maybe bring in some extra finances into your life I would definitely leave your comfort zone and go through some unpleasantness so yeah prepare for a death but I think this death has to do with the struggle that you're you're dealing with uh, which would be fear worry nightmare you know all around problems uh, you need to not give in to it because the death of it is coming. Uh, if you're feeling misled or anything in the middle of the week, recheck your steps. And um, leave your comfort zone if you want success. Or stay there. I don't care. Uh, let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. The High Priestess. Oh, if this doesn't say leave your comfort zone, I don't know what does. There is no ceiling uh, with the High Priestess. She is intelligent. She knows a lot of stuff as she's holding the, the, the Book of Tarot here. And she has her, her water, uh, which is her dress, wrapped around the moon. She has captured the moon. She has literally captured uh, imagination and ideas and knowledge. And... Uh, there's no roof, so there's no limit to uh, your knowledge. There's no limit to your um, creation or anything like that. But you have to leave your comfort zone. You're going to have to leave your comfort zone to, to release all that. Perhaps you don't like uh, putting ideas out there or doing stuff like that. Uh, perhaps you know you like your comfort zone. But uh, this definitely says that right now you have the knowledge and the power and the ability to do many many things and that would include leaving your comfort zone and making some success out of something so i would definitely um use your knowledge and whatnot and leave that comfort zone and get yourself some success uh this week so uh, i hope that resonated if it did hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe I hope to see you back here next week, and until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.